the Black Widow Spider. Few other creatures strike arachnophobic fear and dread more than Latrodectus mactans, the arthropod whose sometime post-mating ritual of cannibalizing her male companion has raised her reputation to metaphoric status. Humans quake at the frequently cited stat that her bite carries a neurotoxin 15 times the strength of rattlesnake venom. All of which makes you particularly concerned at the moment because you are convinced that that weird-looking red bump on your ankle is a black widow bite, and soon you will be in the painful throes of poisoned death. Uh, no and no. Yes, the black widow spider, found throughout temperate and tropical regions, is the most venomous spider in North America. Her bite, and yes, it's only the females who have the ability to inject venom, is a nasty cocktail of poisons that includes alpha latrotoxin, known to wreak havoc on a victim's nervous system by causing neurons to dump their chemical neurotransmitters. But the notorious black arachnid with the infamous red hourglass on its abdomen has earned a bit of an unfair rep. Despite her venomous powers, the Black Widow is actually quite non-aggressive, using her built-in chemical warfare only if she feels threatened or is defending her egg sac. In fact, only about 2,000 people report Black Widow bites each year. And here's the kicker, almost none of those bite victims dies. But what happens if you should be bitten by a Black Widow? Well, we didn't say it was going to be pretty. Although an anti-venom does exist for the bite, it is rarely used because of its own toxicity. The alternative is for the victim to tough it out and let the neurotoxins work through the system, managing the severe muscle cramping, pain, localized sweating, and possible hallucinations experienced over the next three to five days with medication. With this knowledge of the non-fatal, non-aggressive nature of the Black Widow Spider, maybe it's time to revisit her scary reputation. Although most people probably still find her mating habits a bit off-putting.